So you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and learn how to use Google Calendar. Now, Google Calendar is a very cool application. It's a very popular one as well. And I'm sure most of you have probably seen it. It's already pre-built in with a lot of Android phones, but you know, with any device, you can even access it online. It's a very, very easy application to understand. So to get started, you want to download the app or you can just open up the calendar app or you can just go to the Google Calendar website and you should be able to come to the same spot. So then what you want to do is once you're here, you'll come into this particular application. Now there's a lot of stuff to kind of understand within this app. So I'll try my best to kind of break it down for you. So number one, when you first open it up, you'll see a monthly or weekly or daily view of your calendar. Now you can swipe through and see all the calendar events that you have within your device. So you can see before these were all my calendar events going forward, this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a list of you of essentially what's going on with your device. Now, what you can also do, at the very top you have a couple of settings. So there's three lines right here if you tap on it. This basically just allows you to go and choose the different way your calendar is basically looking. So you see how mine looks like a schedule? Well, if I click day, it'll just show me one day's worth of all my things that I have to do on my calendar. If I go back up here, if I go and click on, you know, the week or three days, it'll show me a three-day list, so on and so forth. So that's basically how it works. It's a very basic way of understanding that. There's a refresh button here. If you want to refresh your calendar, you can tap that to refresh your calendar just in general, which is really cool. And then you have your accounts. So if you want to go and change your account to a different account, you'll see all the different calendars and accounts that you have. So you can even, you know, kind of pick different accounts that you have. So if you want to, you know, turn off your account for birthdays or, you know, holidays or something, you can go and toggle those on or off. That's something you can do. And finally, we have the settings portion, which if you tap on it, it'll take you into this spot. And here's going to basically be all your, uh, you know, settings that you can change, your general settings, your manage accounts. If you want to add an account to your calendar, you can also click on here to change that. So hopping back out, if we go back to our main page, there's a couple other things here that are really important to see as well. So another very important thing is basically the search bar. So if you want to search for a specific event, you can click right into there and you can search for events within your calendar. So if I wanted to search for someone's birthday or a holiday, I can click on here and choose that. If I want to as well, I can click on this icon here and it'll take me to this particular exact moment. So whatever schedule I have now, it'll take me to the closest one that I have. If you click on the top or right, this is where you can also manage your Google account. So if you want to manage your Google account or your Google account settings, you can also just tap right into there. You can also change your settings this portion this way as well. At the very bottom, you'll see a little plus button. So this is how you can create events. So if you want to, if you want to create an event, I can tap right into here and I can just start creating an event. So I can add a title to the event. Let's say I want to make it a birthday or something. I can go and swipe up and I can modify a bunch of stuff. I can add a birthday or change this to another event or a task or you know, a reminder or whatever. I can change whether it's an all day event. Let's say it's like an all day meeting or something. I can toggle that on. I can have all these other things and I can even add people in the schedule as well. So if I want to, I can go through add somebody to add here. I can also add a location. I can add video conferencing like a Google Meet. I can add all these things right here. I can even change the coloring of this particular map as well. So overall, that is kind of how you use Google Calendar. It's a very basic type of application to use. There's not anything super crazy. You can even hold down an app, you know, like hold down a calendar to move it throughout your schedule this way too. But that's kind of the core. That's kind of how you use it. There's not really anything super insane that we haven't seen before. It's a very cool application. I love it a lot. I just recommend kind of keeping it updated as often as you can. So clicking on update, updating it as often as you can, that's probably another thing you can do as well. So that's how you use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.